skills with Pastor Steve. <laughs> that is awesome! I'm so excited! I love art! Hey guys, welcome back to Mad Art Skills with Pastor Steve. I'm Pastor Steve and I'm about to show you some mad art skills. You're welcome. And guys, when I'm done with you, you are going to be a primo artist. You're going to be able to do things that other people can only dream about. And you learned it right here at Mad Art Skills. Today, I'm going to teach you a different type of painting. This is called texture painting. It's kind of complicated, but I think you guys can get it. I've got all my equipment here. You just take your brushes and you're going to choose a very specific brush. It's not symmetrical. And I, let me just show you what I mean. You. Um, all right. Looks like I don't have any brushes here, but hey, that's okay. Um, how do I have an art studio on no brushes? Okay. All right. All right. Don't sweat it. Don't, don't sweat it. It's okay. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to finger paint. We're going to finger paint. I'm going to teach you how to do this with finger painting. I think you guys are going to like this. And it's not just you think, oh, you're just going to stick your finger in it and you're just going to rub it on the paper. No, it's not like that. When you do this, you want to make sure that you do it in the right way. That's what texture painting is all about. Texture painting is about, you know, um, doing it with texture. You take each finger, like for example, take the thumb and you want to just lightly stroke the page with your thumb. And then maybe use one of your fingers and you do the same thing. And you want to create this sort of textured brush. I'll be real honest with you here. This is dumb. I'm bored out of my mind. Who cares about finger painting? So. Everybody's done finger painting, but how many of you have done toe painting? Yeah, toe painting. That's what we're going to do, son. Now, and remember, you saw it right here at Mad Art Skills with Pastor Steve. You saw it here first. You're going to need some toes, so you'll... Ow, Charlie Horse! I felt that one. It's important to stretch before you toe paint. Okay, now, I'm going to put a little bit of blue, a little bit of red. All right, and you're going to... It's okay. It's okay, I'm fine, I'm fine. You always, you wanna make sure you keep your balance too. Toe painting is not for the faint of heart. We get a little bit of that, a little bit of that. Oh, 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 look at that, huh? Is that not the coolest thing you've ever seen? Uh oh, uh, what, we're gonna invert that garbage. What? That just happened. I'm just gonna say it. I think I've outdone myself. Toe painting. Who knew, right? I invented something simply because I didn't have the right equipment. So I improvised and created clearly a masterpiece. Now we saw in our story today with Moses that God had chosen Moses, called him to do something very special, but Moses didn't think he was equipped. Now equipped means that you have everything that you need to do what's been asked of you. And that's where we get the word equipment. So if you've got the right equipment, you've got the right tools to do what you need to do. I didn't have the right equipment, but I found a way to paint anyway. With your toes. Moses didn't think that he could do what God was calling him to do. But what he didn't realize was God had equipped him. It didn't look the way Moses thought it should, but Moses was equipped. Moses had everything that he needed in order to do what God's called him to do. And you know, as God's masterpiece, you are equipped. Did you know that God created you, formed you, shaped you very specially, and he gave you everything you need to do what he's called you to do? Now, the way God's equipped you will look different than your friends, but God equipped you very specifically because he chose you to do something very special. So in those moments where you think, man, I just can't do what other people can do. I don't know how God can use me well, of course he can, because you are his masterpiece. He created you and he equipped you to do something very special. And God's going to use you in a very special way. You are God's masterpiece and you are equipped. I can't wait to see what happens next time you join me for Mad Art Skills with Pastor Steve, because it's going to get real again. Love you guys. Go paint something with your feet. <laughs> see you next time.